This is a copyrighted work. Unauthorized copying or distribution is a crime punishable by up to five years in prison and a fine of $250,000. Scholastic Audio presents Mockingjay, The Hunger Games Book 3 by Suzanne Collins Read by Tatiana Maslany Part 1. The Ashes Chapter 1 I stare down at my shoes, watching as a fine layer of ash settles on the worn leather. This is where the bed I shared with my sister, Prim, stood. Over there was the kitchen table. The bricks of the chimney, which collapsed in a charred heap, provide a point of reference for the rest of the house. How else could I orient myself in this sea of gray? Almost nothing remains of District 12. A month ago, the Capitol's firebombs obliterated the poor coal miners' houses in the seam, the shops in the town, even the Justice Building. The only area that escaped incineration was the Victor's Village. I don't know why, exactly. Perhaps so anyone forced to come here on capital business would have somewhere decent to stay. The odd reporter, a committee assessing the condition of the coal mines, a squad of peacekeepers checking for returning refugees. But no one is returning except me. And that's only for a brief visit. The authorities in District 13 were against my coming back. They viewed it as a costly and pointless venture, given that at least a dozen invisible hovercraft are circling overhead for my protection, and there's no intelligence to be gained. I had to see it, though. So much so that I made it a condition of my cooperating with any of their plans. Finally, Plutarch Heavensby, the head game maker who had organized the rebels in the capital, threw up his hands. Let her go. Better to waste a day than another month. Maybe a little tour of twelve is just what she needs to convince her we're on the same side. The same side. A pain stabs my left temple. Sample complete. Ready to continue? <laughs> 